Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, March 20th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Okay, after yesterday's punishing experience, I'm hoping we get maybe a little bit of a reprieve today. I don't know, it is a Saturday still, so I'm still expecting quite a challenge. Alright, one across. Muhammad Ali was one famously. Oh, um, hmm. Well, I think maybe this has to do with the fact that he refused to go to Vietnam. I, is it going to be draft dodger? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I feel like draft dodger is kind of a crappy way to put it. He's He should be more of like a conscientious objector, I think. But I mean, that's what fits. So maybe that's what it is. Um... Flirt? Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. One who's in the heat. Okay, this is wordplay, and it seems like maybe this is going to be the pun, heat. Uh, maybe like a heat in a race. So maybe that could be racer. Hardly rosy? Hmm. So... Rosie is in like, maybe like optimistic or like looking good. So it's going to be something bad, maybe like a bad outlook. Hmm. Incite. Like inciting a riot. F fuel. Not, not quite. I used to know blank 2019 Grammy nominated album. Hmm. Yeah, I'm so bad with music. I'm not going to know that. Rely upon? It's not depend, right? Yeah, that's too short. Hmm. Made a quick getaway. Hmm. Humdinger? It's not a doozy? Hmm. Common Jewish deli order. Jewish deli order. Hmm. I'm not sure about that either. Boy, not a lot of confirmation on this. The planets in our solar system once. Um, well, they used to be a nonet, right? There used to be nine. Now there's only eight. Maybe it's not a draft dodger. Okay, that's good, because I wasn't that crazy about it. Um, hmm. So what else would this be other than like boxing champ or something like that? I mean, I guess boxing champ would fit. Um, I think we're looking at non-net. Oh. Here though, for the planet. Although, is it two ends? I kind of thought it was one. Hmm. Common Jewish deli choice, maybe could be rye. So, maybe it's not non-ed after all. Huh. Animal that produces eggs once a year. Wow. Um, something that has offspring very infrequently. Hmm. Show that opens with, I hope I get it. Is that a song? It's not one I recognize. Be it, say? Be it, say. Hmm. This is about tag. I think they usually capitalize it if it's about tag. Che Guevara's real first name? Ah. I've looked at his Wikipedia article twice in the last month, and I don't remember this. Is it Ernesto? Hmm. I don't know why that came into my mind. I have read his first name a couple of times in the last couple of months, so maybe that's right. Maybe it was lodged in there somewhere. I do like the R here. Hmm. 
Is this about a complexion, maybe? Like, pale? <laughs> Blotto. I love this slang term. It means really drunk. This is just, this is such a funny word to me. Um... Sloshed, maybe? It's another slang term for being really drunk, right? Care about... Maybe love? If you care about someone, you really love them. Locale of Aconcagua. Oof, I've never heard of that. Aconcagua? Hmm. Rely upon. I want this to be an N, something on. O N. Made a quick getaway. Lab synth painter. Hmm. Whoever it was is probably a lot of fun to hang out with. Okay, me problem. Hmm. Me in quotes. Is this something to do with it's not you, it's me, or something like that? Hmm. Restrains as one's emotions. Tamps? Hmm. One helping you find a cab. Oh, this is a great wordplay clue. I think this is going to be about wine. So a sommelier is like a wine expert that works at like a winery or a restaurant or something like that. That's an excellent clue because cab is short for cabernet, the type of wine. Yeah. So is, is a me problem ego perhaps? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's not love. This be Degas, maybe? I'm just thinking if this could end in a T. I, I kind of still want this to be Tamps. I guess it could, maybe. <laughs> Bob Hoskins' role in 1991's Hook. That was Smee. I love Bob Hoskins. He's so great. Field worker. Um, hmm. What kind of field are we talking about here? Maybe somebody actually in a farm field? Sensation from a song that you're really, really into slangly. Hmm. Important time for PhD students. Hmm. Is it like your PhD thesis? Something to do with a thesis or a thesis defense or something like that? Hmm. Boy. This is also another really hard puzzle here. Chrome, e.g. Chrome is in like chrome on a car? Hmm. Alright, let's, let's start... Maybe with something a little, see if we can get some little answers here to get us jump started. Admit to could be cop to, maybe. A big galoot could be an oaf. Although PF looks terrible, unless it's like PF Changs or something. Places to buy food you wouldn't want to eat yourself. Uh, maybe that's like pet, pet food they're talking about. Um... Pet stores, possibly? And a big glute could be an ape, maybe. It's not gross. <laughs> this is another great clue, this is great. It's not gross, if you're talking about like income, if you're not talking about gross income, maybe you're talking about net income, if you're taking away expenses. Okay, an equivalent phrase. I'm a little busy, you see. Maybe that could be, can it wait? Agent? Agent could be an operator. Hmm, I guess that's too short. 
Hmm. Old fashioned letter opener. Hmm. Element. What kind of element? Like something on the periodic table? Hmm, I don't think so. I think it's just going to be something generic like a constituent element. Attracted. Drew to, because it has to be past tense. Yeah. Sign that indicates quiet. On air, maybe? Yeah, like in a radio studio. Give up. Hmm. I guess this means to quit or to throw your towel, throw the towel in or something. Hmm. Well, Chrome is a browser, right? On a computer, a web browser. Okay, browser. And then. Hmm. Dos letras en Trinidad y Tobago. So two letters in Trinidad and Tobago. Is this just T's? I'm not sure if letter, I'm, I'm not sure if letras is letters. And I don't know the Spanish word for T's, so we're kind of in trouble here. I would guess that maybe it's an E here. Taze. Um, yeah, this could be an operative. That's good. Okay, so I guess maybe that's the Spanish word for t the letter T, Taze. Um, and this could be wave. If you wave your right to an attorney or something, you give up your right. New York College named after a Franciscan friar. New York College, huh? Hmm. What is this letter opener? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a Saturday. I gotta be, I gotta be careful about unindicated wordplay here. It's not like a knife that you'd open a letter with. It's a word that you would start a letter with, like the way you're gonna address the person you're writing the letter to. So this is gonna be sirs, I think, if you're addressing more than one person. Ooh, that's so hard. Okay. I don't know this. Is it Sienna, maybe? Element. Yeah, this could be habitat. Like, I'm in my element. I'm in my habitat. Um, Sienna. Okay. I've never seen that before. Um... Is it a non-ad? Uh, this would be an O. Oh, why? Hmm. Pardon informally. Well, we filled in this section pretty well. Um, maybe we should start over here and try and do the same thing. Blank ipsa loquitar. I mean, this looks like Latin, but I've never seen this phrase before. Twelfth night vis-a-vis -vis Three Kings Day. Ah, this is so hard. Um, I mean, Twelfth Night is a Shakespeare play, isn't it? I don't know what Three Kings Day is. Maybe it's Eve. Maybe this is just talking about holidays that I'm not <laughs> really familiar with. Is it like the 12th night of Christmas or something? Is the eve of Three Kings Day, whatever that is? It sounds kind of like it, because maybe the Three Kings Day is about the Magi or something. Okay, Carol contraction. Um, hmm. What, a, what Carol has a contraction in it? I think maybe we wish you a Merry Christmas. 
Hmm. Well, I can't sit here singing Christmas carols forever, so let's just wait on that one for now. Brouhaha. <laughs> this is another good uh, commotion or ado that would have fit in nicely on the Thursday puzzle here. Um, I mean, we could think about we had a fuss and we had a stir, I think, on that one. Those are both the four letter ados, right? So maybe stir has more common letters. Oh, yeah, and fragrant compound could be an ester. Very good. Hot off the press could be fresh, yeah. Something really, really recently made. Stable figures could be mares, maybe. That's a kind of a horse, right? That's a female horse. Novelist who received a Nobel nomination at least 20 times, but never won. Oh, no. It's the Sophia Loren of literature. Well, she finally won, didn't she? MF? Ooh, that looks weird to me. Hmm. I wonder if we have something wrong. What a PR firm wants to control? Well, that should be narrative, I think. So maybe we're okay. Expositions? Um. Maybe treatises? Yeah, I guess it's just like a treatise is kind of like your thoughts on a subject, right? I believe that would make sense. Doc performing tympanostomies, tympanostomies. Ooh, what a word there. I mean, I'm assuming it's an ear, nose, and throat doctor. I'm imagining tympanostomy maybe is an operation on your Timpani? I think that's like your eardrum, right? I think that's... I think your eardrum is called something close to this, at least. I, I probably have the actual word wrong, but I think we're in the ballpark there, at least. Um... M... Oh, it's E.M. Forster. Oh, that's a shame. Wow. Um, yeah, I've actually read Howard's End, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Wow, 20 times. Okay, res ipsa loquitur. Sure. <laughs> I couldn't even I couldn't even venture a guess at what this means. Hopefully the uh, goose can enlighten us with his Latin skills. Um okay. A provide <laughs> provides an address, orates, I guess, is talking. Maybe you're orating about your treatise. for nearly all to see. Okay, so I guess this is wordplay, obviously, and it's about movie ratings, I think. So it's not for all to see, it's for nearly all to see. So that'll be the second most broad rating, which would be PG. Yeah, precisely an equivalent phrase, spot on. Yeah, there we go. All right, this one's going down a little smoother than yesterday's, at least. Still looking at a pretty long solve here. K. Hmm. K could be a strikeout. Potassium. Kindergarten. I don't know. None of those really make sense here. It's another word for thousand, right? Yeah, that could be a grand. Ooh, <laughs> we went through all the permutations of the letter K there. Okay, important time for PhD students could maybe be orals, I guess, some some part of the tests involved in getting a PhD. I'm not a doctor of goose verbalism, so I never had to do oral exams. Um, blank opera, famed German concert hall. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I know this one. It flies around Florence. What would fly around somewhere in Italy? Hmm. It looks like it's gonna be, it, maybe it's Italian air or something like that. Maybe it's the airline. Hmm. Although I, I thought the Italian airline was called Air Italia. Hmm. Well, it looks like it starts with Italian, at least. Critical area for short could be ICU for intensive care unit. 
website full of low quality aggregated articles. Uh, they call those content mills, I think. Content mill, yeah. It's the scourge of modern internet. Um, maybe alte? Alt just means old, so maybe it's the old opera. That's a pretty safe guess, I think. Oscar winner from The Little Mermaid for best original song. Oh, it's gotta be Under the Sea, man. That era of Disney animation is just shockingly good. They had such a string of hits. Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King. Wow. <laughs> okay, blooper. Hmm. Blooper. I'm not sure what that's gonna be. He's got a lot on his shoulders. That should be Atlas, shouldn't it? He's got the world on his shoulders. So it's not content mill? What is it then? Hmm. React to a public scene, maybe. Hmm. Public scene. Would you be embarrassed? Witnessing a public scene? Hmm. Underground rock? Is this... I can't tell what the straightforward reading of this clue is. I, I think the straightforward reading should be about music. Underground rock would be like alt rock or something like that. Maybe this answer is going to be literally about a rock that you would find underground. Hmm, interesting. This is not ASMR, right? Ear <laughs> is it eargasm? <laughs> That's great. That's a really nice contemporary piece of language there. That's really good. Okay, a blooper could be a gaff. There we go. Getting that M out of there helps to see that. Okay, so maybe this is content farm. Um, maybe stare. You would stare at a public scene. Yeah. Magma. There we go. It is geological. Okay, so Italian flag flies around Florence. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. And then flower in Indian cuisine is Atta. Interesting. I wonder what that's made of. Hmm. I haven't heard of that before. And I've eaten a lot of Indian food. Interesting. That's a nice thing to have learned. Okay. Field worker could definitely be a peasant. Restrains as one's emotions. Yeah, maybe it is Tams, like I was thinking all along. Interesting. And this is maybe Degas? Locale of Ekankagua. Hmm. Hmm. This is a weird one. I can't think of anything that would make this into a place I recognize. Maybe it's Andes? And it's not sloshed, it could be smashed instead. Ooh, that's tricky. It could go either way there. So maybe it is the Andes. Um, yeah, maybe the goose can tell us exactly where Akankagua is. And then care about could be mind. I don't mind, I don't care about it. Yeah. Hmm. D-E-T. Interesting. That looks really weird to me. Made... Maybe it's... Is it damps? Hmm. Because it feels like this should end in an ED, right? And then maybe this is absconded. Usually abscond with something, like something you stole. Yeah, that could be... Hmm. Pardon informally. Is it excuse? Yeah, excuse. Like you could say, excuse me, pardon me. That's pretty tricky too, man. Humdinger. Hmm, that's a real humdinger. Interesting. I, I, I like the looks of this SH at the end of this here. 
and this is kind of a fun pair, these two Jewish deli choices. Hmm, maybe it's a knish. It's like a little uh, roll, right? Yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. Um, what is this gonna be? Is it Smack Talker? <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, he was famously a Smack Talker. That's great. Oh, that's so much better than Draft Dodger. I'm so glad that's not what it was. Okay, good. Okay. Um, flirt. This could be the verb or the noun, so it's a little tricky here. One who's in the heat. I still think this is going to be about running. Miler? Like someone who's running a mile? I'm not crazy about that answer. Hardly rosy could be ashen. Yeah, like I was saying, maybe it's about like a pale color. That's a great, that's a great answer for that one. Insight could be cause, I guess. If you cause a riot, you could incite a riot. Yeah. Hmm, still don't know that one. Rely upon could be trusts in, trust in. Yeah, that's good. Oh, humdigger is a Lulu, yeah. I love that word, that's really good. Sounds like you've got a Lulu. Okay. So, can I get this? Something live, it looks like. Hmm. Is this going to be a V? What? Hmm. This isn't looking like any kind of like number descriptor that I can come up with. <laughs> Animal that produces eggs once a year. Easter bunny, what a great clue. So it's not cause then, interesting. Uh... Oh, is it, what? Is it not smack? Trash talker, okay, same idea, but different word there. Okay, hmm, S stoke, yeah. Wow, that's tricky, because that, that worked really well. Cause, stoke means a similar thing though, so that's good. Maybe I used to know her. And then this is a chorus line. Okay. Aeneid? What is that? What's an Aeneid? Is this another way to say nine? A group of nine things? I've never seen this word before. Interesting. Hmm, okay. And then this is definitely racer, like we've been thinking all along. And then be at it, or no, be it say oh yeah in hide and seek you're it if you're seeking right and then flirt is tease i don't know about that if you're a flirt you're a tease i i guess yeah i i don't know if that has quite the same connotation hmm are they using it in like f like teasing you would tease someone as a way to flirt Neither of those work perfectly in my mind, but I think that's what they're looking for. So let's throw that in there and see if we get this puzzle finished in under 30 minutes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so this one took half as much time as yesterday's did. So yeah, I think that's just evidence as to how punishingly difficult yesterday's puzzle was because I didn't feel like this was easy by any means. Like there was a ton of really great wordplay here, um, kind of misleading cluing, but it was all like stuff that was kind of, if you're looking for wordplay, you'll notice it. Whereas yesterday's, it just seemed like it was like, just not possible. Even if you're on your toes for wordplay, it was just so hard to decipher and find it. So let's look at some of the um, answers I really liked. I like this Muhammad Ali answer here. This is so fun. Trash talker, that's great. Um, let's see. I liked a lot of these, all of these, Oh man, Easter Bunny, what a great clue for Easter Bunny. 
that produces eggs once a year. I was definitely thinking biologically. I was like, oh, is it like a whale? Because I know they have like a really long gestational period. Same with like elephants. I was trying to think, or maybe like pandas because they barely reproduce. But yeah, Easter bunnies is so great. Um, a chorus line is good. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really super up on musicals, but I do recognize that one. Um, treatises is a nice word to have in there. This is a good punny answer for Italian flag. Content farm is a good like modern problem. It's nice to have that in there. And anything from The Little Mermaid I just absolutely love, so that's great. Yeah, there's just so much good stuff here. Eargasm, look at that nice contemporary language here. Excellent. And I just love blotto. That word is hilarious. <laughs> love it. All right, what a nice way to finish off the week here. Um, yeah, I feel a little bit um, comforted <laughs> in that the performance of that Saturday solve. So um, yeah, that's a nice way to bring this week to a close. And tomorrow is going to be the nice long themed Sunday puzzle. So let's meet up again and solve the Sunday together. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.